welcome back to my channel which i'm so excited for today's video like you don't even understand like this is finally happening now this is the phd update that i've been waiting to give you guys this is the phd update that i've been waiting for because now i feel like it's real like before i felt like i was talking about something that could very easily get pulled from like under my feet like i was feeling anxious about it and knowing that like now that you shared it with everybody that like, this thing is happening i was like feeling the pressure on myself but without this thing getting fixed i was like yeah it's not happening like i'm not even going like what's what are we doing here you know but now this is the phd update that i've been wanting to give you and i'm so excited to get into it so as you already know grab a cup of tea coffee or water whatever it is put your feet up relax and let's get to chit chatting i love these chit chat videos i'm so happy to be back online you know like i feel like i hadn't been super super back on youtube properly for a while now it's like every week i'm popping in checking in like are you loving it because i'm loving it what's happening and this might be the final update that we have because now everything now is just like actual prep for this phd mode before it's just been like talking about it whereas now we're going to get into the action of it i'm really really happy and so excited because i'm like my visa has finally came through like my visa has finally came through the thing that i've been waiting for for so long is finally here it came through the post and like my passport is all beautifully stamped with this usa visa that's gonna last me for five years they've given it to me until 2028 which is so so fantastic like i really thought i was gonna get declined for that visa i don't know why like i don't know where that came from but i suddenly planted the seed that is gonna get declined and then I'd have nightmares about it I'd always like visualize me going to the airport and getting like returned home like so much and I was just like what am I gonna do but it's been accepted it's been approved I finally like done even more decluttering like I've done all the shoes like I said on vintage sold it all gone now I'm doing my bedroom decluttering and I'm like I'm starting to see the room get empty and emptier which is like oh it's crazy i finally found my blow up beds i couldn't find them i really knew that i had them but i couldn't find them anywhere and i was like if i get them i don't have that bed what am i gonna do so now i've got a blow up bed so i'm not so stressed about the fact that there's no furniture on the other side because it's like well i've got my blow up bed so i can just take my time i've decided because i know how i am guys i know how i am i'm the type of person that wants to arrive and then get my apartment sorted like that like make sure it's all kitted out all the furniture's in there everything done on day one and i can relax and get ready for school but i've come to terms with the fact that i'm gonna take my time to get my apartment ready so i'm gonna give myself like a month to slowly do it up and not like rush so please hold me accountable on that like i don't want to put pressure on myself to think that i've got to land and sort everything out all at once i just want to take my time so now that i've got my blow up bed i don't have to rush anymore um yeah really there's not much other updates going on i'm still having struggles with the healthcare stuff that's really annoying me because they keep declining what i've got and i'm like i've had these vaccines already like why not accepting them but then the nhs I think they're overwhelmed as well right now so I don't want to like keep putting pressure about these vaccines because they don't want to they keep saying they can't see me so I might have to go private and like pay somewhere for it because um yeah it feels like an urgent situation for me but obviously it's not on the list of like urgent things which is fair I'm not like saying it should be so uh, we'll see what's gonna happen but yeah i'm really really excited i hope to get the healthcare stuff sorted asap other than that there's not much else that i'm like stressed about anymore like that visa i think was like the bane of my stress the flight i'm sorting out and it's now finally going through the way it should go something that is um bothering my family is the fact that like i'm opting to not have a leaving thing like i'm opting to not have a leaving party and they think that's really crazy because obviously if you guys know me well you know that i'm always throwing a party about my book moving into my apartment i'm always throwing a party for something because i just love celebrating life but right now i feel kind of I feel like my head is already in California. Like I'm no longer in the UK. So for me, I'm just like, let's just let's just get this moving. And my family are like, why are you robbing us of the chance to like celebrate you and say bye to you? But I feel like I've had many parties, like I've had my huge 25th. I just don't think like I need it, you know? I feel like them give me a hug and a cuddle, us having a pizza in the house, like a sleepover the night before is like goodbye enough, but they want like a 
full blown let's have a party let's have a hurrah and i think because i've got empowered by v coming up you know my non-profit organization and i run an annual conference every single year for students age 16 to 18 to help them with access to university and we're doing that again this year on the 13th of august so i'm stressed about that then i've also got um me flying packing up my stuff i haven't got the capacity to plan a party so yeah they did offer to plan it for me they were like shall we just do it and like you just show up and i've been like pretty difficult about that because i'm like but if i do it i want it a specific way so they're like oh we're gonna leave it alone and i'm like oh so i don't know i don't know what to do about that i feel selfish for not having this like leaving party because they obviously want to but i also feel like i don't want it like i just don't want it like i'm fine with just an airport send off you know so we'll see what's gonna happen with that but um that's not a problem obviously that's just a minor little family thing um i'm just happy like i don't know if you can tell i'm just over the moon that my visa came through it literally came in like two days ago and i was like i've got to tell you guys um i'm just i'm over the moon i'm so happy and i'm just so grateful so that's it that's a little update that we've got there's nothing else going on right now now we're going to start doing all the packing and stuff so get ready for the chaotic vlogs to now come back in action i love you a million thank you for supporting me on this journey and i'll talk to you guys soon but we've got a visa and we're going to the usa